hello guys welcome to design drafting today i will show you how to create this observation tower so here in this picture i already made you can see there is a round core wall and around the core wall there is a helical staircase so i will make this steel column as you can see here in this rustic color I will create these columns and we will create this column and give a shape to the tower. So let's get started. Let's come into the rabbit. Here if you you can see in the level one I already have made if you come to the south elevation. I already have made the levels here. Each level has a 350 centimeter distance. So I have created almost seven levels. So you can create as you like. As I told you, I already have made core wall and the helical staircase. Here maybe you cannot see, but I will show you it's hidden. Let's come to the level one and here you can click on this reveal hidden elements and I will select all and I will unhide the elements. So here you can see I already have made this helical state. This one I don't need we will create later so this I already have made the core wall and the helical staircase so around this helical staircase I will create the steel columns structure let's come to the level one here I will create draw one circle I will give 350 I will create 7 meter so 350 is enough just this is just a guideline I will create a more reference plan and then I will create more reference plan here I need one reference plan here in case Okay, so here I will go to the columns. Here I have a pipe column. If you don't have any column, so you can go to the load family. You can go to the column and load family, and then you can choose the structural columns. Here, as you can see here, steel column, and here is the pipe round hollow structure sectional column, or you can choose as per your requirement okay I already have loaded so I will choose this pipe column I will choose slanted one thing you have to remember disable this 3d snapping if you will keep enable this 3d slamming so you will get a problem here you can see if I keep it on this 3d snapping and click and give the other angle so what it will come the column base so it will take the next point from the same level because my this reference line is in the same level one so that's why what I will do I will just go to the column slant select the slanted column disable the 3d snapping and here I will give the level 7 because I need those column up level 7 I don't need the depth so I will remove this value to 0 and now I will add the column I will select one x one point to up to another point here so here is my column as you can see if I go to the south elevation so you can see my this column is slanted 
so i will select this column again and i will mirror okay i will mirror the column i need a copy and then select here press escape so here is my two columns if you can see in the south elevation again so here my two columns are coming okay you can see the shape so what is the next i will select these two columns and i will choose the array command okay i will choose the radial and then i need the last okay move to last and here the number of the columns number of copies i will create let's say six angle is fine everything is fine this point i need in the center okay now i will click anywhere here and then i will go all the way up to 180 degree and give the numbers uh, and click it here you can see if you come to the south so you can see almost half shape is completed what is the next i will choose these columns these four columns i don't need to select because i need to mirror those columns other columns i will select these columns and select mirror and i will choose the copy click here come to the south elevation if you can see here we have done this job we have created this one now i will close the i will close the top and i will go to the level 7 here i will go to the component model in place i will choose generic model for now okay this point and I will choose the extrusion, select circle, and I will give the value, let's suppose 360. Okay, now I need the offset of this. Maybe I will create, let's say, 25, 25 centi offset, select. It's not enough. I will create maybe five centi more. Okay, this is enough. So the extrusion end will be 25. I will give maybe 30. Let's see how it will become. Come to the south. So it will be. It looks nice, but I need to extend outside more. I will. Go to the level 7 again, click, and this one I need 5 centi outside, more offset, and okay. Now click OK, it's done. So if you see here the extrusion is 30 centi. Let's go to the elevation. Yes, I need this extrusion to extend downside. So what I will do, I will do extend 10 centi minus sorry minus 10 centi down, and here I will make 20 centi. So it will become 30 centi altogether. Click OK. Here we go. Now, uh, if you can see our columns, this, if you can see our observation deck is almost complete. In this area, you go to the column. If you can see our column ends are not so clear. So we will just cut horizontal. Here we will come column style. 
it's slanted and here if you see the base cut style is perpendicular we will change into horizontal so what we will do we will select all the columns right click select one column right click and select in entire project and then go to the base cut to horizontal and the top cut we also make horizontal so like that we will get a clean horizontal cut now even we can extend this to up if you want okay i will just select edit click here and i will start from zero and i need 25 is enough so here it's done so here we our this observation tower is complete I hope you like this tutorial, please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends.